ever considered that we are living in a unique time, that something world-changing is about to happen, and that it might concern you? If so, you're in the right place. Keep listening, and you'll hear thought-provoking views behind the news that point to a new and better future for all. Many people now sense that humanity is not alone. So consider this. If the Christ or the Buddha walked among us today as modern men, would we recognize them? What would they be saying? And most importantly, would we listen? Every Sunday on this program, Share International Radio will examine extraordinary events that are unfolding behind the headline news. This may be the message of hope you've been waiting for. And now, welcome to this week's show. Welcome indeed to our show. This is your host, Diana Gold Holland, calling you from sunny today Vancouver, BC. Although uh, at the other end of the country, they have called out the storm troops and the military because of uh, flood uh, flood disasters occurring. So let's have uh, a little thought here for the victims of environmental disaster. Uh, growing more and more throughout the world. That, however, is not our theme for today. Our theme for today is conscious entrepreneurship. And uh, But before we get down to that, let me, as usual, for our new listeners, and we welcome you especially, uh, for our new listeners, let me give the premises of our show uh, right right away. First of all, that we are not alone as humanity. We never have been, but soon it will be very, very clear that we definitely are not alone. At this time of great uh, upheaval and tumult and transition here on the planet, we have in our midst, emerging now, a group of very advanced teachers who are called the Masters of Wisdom, perfected beings, who are omniscient, who have gone ahead of us and gained control over uh, all of their senses, the physical realities, who are master scientists, who are, in fact, masters of wisdom uh, in line with the plan for this planet at this time. At their head stands the Lord Maitreya, and I will spell that for you, M A I. T-R-E-Y-A. It is a Buddhist name, meaning the happy one or the compassionate one. And it is the name used by the Buddhist to speak of their expected teacher, um, who was foretold by Gautama Buddha himself some 2,000 years ago and more, uh, to be coming. He said a great Buddha like himself would come uh, at at uh, a time of very great darkness in the world to help illumine the path forward. So this, of course, is the role of Maitreya. He is called in modern parlance the world teacher for the coming age, the age of Aquarius now dawning. But he is also known uh, by various names by all of the great religions who they too uh, expect their their teacher so he is known as uh, the Christ for the Christians. He is known as the Messiah for the Jews, the Imam Mahdi for the um, Muslim faith, etc., etc. And so he represents the uh, power and the the conscious, the Christ consciousness, the power of love, embodying this divine aspect of of uh, the Godhead at this time. Uh, on earth and stands at the head of these great teachers to help guide us forward. We will be talking today uh, as part of our discussion with um, um, my guest a bit about Sai Baba, who many of you will will know of. He has um, gone beyond, he has transitioned now, but Sai Baba was a great spiritual avatar living in uh, southern India and had many, many uh, devotees. He had uh, one of the tightest connections with the Godhead, and he uh, and Maitreya worked side by side relentlessly uh, day by day 
in, of course, the spiritual and etheric uh, realms. So Sai Baba is this great teacher. Again, I will spell this for you, S-A-I-B-A-B-A, -A -B -A, um, revered literally by thousands and thousands of people in the Eastern world. So you may want to check that out as well. All of this you can find out about on the website www.share-international.org. Share That's share, S-H-A-R-E, as in sharing. And uh, it is also the root of our information here on the program, which is share on the air radio. So those are our premises. I invite you to sit back now and enjoy uh, my interview with my guest today, the, um, who is Bernard Clavier. He is a French fasting advocate and the author of a very successful book on fasting, whose title translates roughly as, um, What If We Quit Eating From Time to Time? It's the title of his uh, book. Um, not often do you see book titles as questions, but this was a very good one. What if we quit eating from time to time? Bernard maintains that as a society, we're living to a great extent under a form of collective hypnotism today. And he encourages people to wake up and take responsibility for managing their life, their emotions, and of course, their health. Starting out as a sickly child, he vowed at the age of 18 that he would get healthy using natural products and practices, not drugs and medicine, and that he would never see a doctor again. To accomplish this, he completely changed his way of living and, as he says, his relationship with others and with the universe itself. And he has not seen a doctor since. So it's with my great, um, it's great pleasure, Bernard, bienvenue sur l'émission, <laughs> welcome to our show, and um, Hello, why Diana. don't you start, hi, why don't you start by telling us a little bit more about yourself and your journey? Oh my, that's a, that's a long story, I mean, uh, uh, it looks like from a very early age, I mean, I, I am now, I am now 63, uh, from a very early age, it's amazing. But when I, um, I was going to church because in the, in the village where I was living, all the kids were going to church on Sunday. You see, and uh, I had a I've always had a very special relationship with with Jesus. With Jesus, I mean, Jesus was my friend, and uh, I would talk to him, and I had no idea who, who Jesus was, really. But it's something beyond beyond explanation. And um, when I grew up, I, when I was a student, I was initiated into transcendental meditation. Well, apparently nothing to do with, with Jesus, but still, Jesus was always with me, and um, like, 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 a, like a close friend. So I, I started uh, in initiating people into transcendental meditation. You remember from the, the Maharishi Mahesh Yogi, yeah? Oh, of course, uh, of course, uh, yeah. Clint Eastwood has been there, uh, many, and the Beatles, and Mayor Faro, and many, many other people have been his disciples at that time. And, uh, well, after transcendental meditation, I was traveling in California, and I heard the name Sai Satya Sai Baba. And that blew my mind, and I started asking questions, and um, and the guy told me, well, you, here I have some information, and you can go to, to L.A., and you will go to, the, to this place, to this center. And I, I discovered who, Sai, who Satya Sai Baba was, and that, that was really um, another page, another chapter of my life. And then, okay, I, I tried oh, wait, to... Wait, just, to, just to a second, so... so yeah. Bernard, just yeah. tell us who who such a Sai Baba actually is, so for our listeners to know as well. I think, I mean, according to what I what I believe, what I feel, Sai Baba is a very very advanced um, spiritual master. I mean, he's an avatar. I hope our listeners. <laughs> understand more or less what an avatar is an avatar is is god incarnated so there has been many many more avatars avatars before him 
and there's been other avatars at the same time when Sai Baba was living, and there will and there will be more avatars in the future. But Sai Baba has been very famous because there were millions of disciples, millions of people flocking to India. I've been to his ashram in India, and he would perform miracles in front of uh, people's eyes. I mean, without any doubt that that those feats were totally miraculous. And he would heal people. He would I mean, I was. Uh, there's there's tons of books about Sai Baba. So that really transformed my life. I mean, not Sai Baba himself, but his teachings, what what he would uh, he would convey in his talks and etc. And then someday I was in India in his ashram in Sai Baba's ashram, and I I. I I, I joined a group of people listening to a lady, and that lady was uh, talking about the masters of wisdom. And she was uh, explaining that our planet has been uh, guided and uh, accompanied all through his, uh, uh, his long, long evolution by this group of highly advanced people uh, with 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 the one called Maitreya at their at their head, the 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 most advanced, the wisest of of those masters, and my that was another another time in my life where I really I felt like the last piece of the puzzle came into place. You know, I listened to that lady, and uh, it all fit together, I, and finally I could tell who. Um, uh, Maharishi Mahesh Yogi was who uh, Jesus was who the Christ is I mean who, who Sai Baba is etc. Thank you Bernard. And to our listeners stay it. with us and we will talk when we come back on the other side of the break about Bernard's actual livelihood and how he uh, incorporated these great teachings that he Your conscious connection to a more mindful world Om Times Radio IOM FM. Spiritual, metaphysical, green living, psychic, alternative healing, life coaching. Do any of these or similar terms apply to your business or cause? If so, you are in a niche market with a very specific audience. Conscious Gate PR is the world's leading conscious public relations agency. With a global reach of over 4 million and growing, we offer comprehensive media campaigns to our targeted market. Learn more at ConsciousGatePR.com. Conscious Marketing for Conscious Minds. Join Vibe Nation radio host, international psychic medium, Carrie Turcotte, as she guides her listeners to rediscover themselves by accessing the keys of knowledge that already exist within. Each week's show is divinely orchestrated to intertwine with the universal energies, allowing the listeners to go deeper within. At the end of each show, Carrie will tap into the energies of the listeners and give a message from spirit about the upcoming week. If you really want to get to know who you truly are, join Carrie each Monday at 3 p.m. on Vibe Nation Radio. Want to help build the coming golden age? Want to experience the Aquarian energies of love, light, and power? Transmission meditation is a simple way for you and two or more friends to do just that and accelerate your own spiritual growth at the same time. Check out Transmission Meditation at ShareOnTheAirRadio.org. That's ShareOnTheAirRadio.org. Hey everybody, Rachel Ray here. Nothing brings a bigger smile to my face than cooking up a big meal for the whole family and lots of friends. But there's not enough room at my table for the 17 million kids in our country who struggle with hunger. That's why the Feeding America nationwide network of food banks collect surplus food to give hope to hungry kids. But they can't do it without your help. Support Feeding America and your local food bank at feedingamerica.org. A message from Feeding America and the Ad Council. Welcome back. My guest today is Bernard Clavier, a uh, fasting advocate in um, France who has founded a very successful company, a natural uh, products company, on um, many of the teachings he learned through his own spiritual journey that he was talking to us a little bit about uh, before the blog. Uh, 
before the break. So Bernard, uh, as he mentioned, went from finding out about transcendental meditation to um, visiting Sai Baba and there hearing about the presence of Maitreya and the spiritual masters. Um, I just want to cut forward uh, rather quickly, Bernard, so that we can talk more about your business philosophy of uh, entrepreneurism. Um, Bernard told me that after uh, finding out about Maitreya, he went to London, England to um, follow up with the chief spokesman for the emergence of Maitreya, who is a British author um, and esotericist, now deceased, called Benjamin Krem, that's C-R-E-M-E. And um, he... Um, uh, Bernard uh, subscribed to the magazine Share International, which, as I mentioned, is much of our uh, information, the source of much of our information, and Benjamin Krem was chief editor of that magazine. Again, you can find that at www.share-international.org. And um, then, Bernard, I heard you um, traveled somewhat in Spain and were a bit frustrated in not being able to um, tell too many people about the reappearance, so you ended up back in France and founding your company. Is that correct? Yes, I lived 25 years in Spain, but uh, I was subscribing to the to the Share National magazine, uh, reading Benjamin Krim's books, and reading the <clears throat> Alice Bailey's books and everything. But I've, I felt a bit a bit too uh, um, lonely there. I mean, uh, spiritual spiritually lonely, even if, if even if the masters are always with me, of course, and 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 Jesus and and Maitreya and all the others. But I wanted to 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 talk to the people about my this new um, passion of mine is more than a passion. It's my my innermost reality. So I came back to France. I started to give lectures, and I uh, lectures about uh, about the presence of the the masters on, on on this planet and their and their mission, their work, and their their soon to come. Um, appearance uh, physically i mean we will they've always been here but beyond the beyond the the curtains of 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 reality now we will see them we'll be able to talk to them very soon i believe I, this is my to, my 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 deepest belief and uh, i hope this time will come very soon i believe the the world is ready for that so i started to a company and i i decided very early that i wanted to 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 manage that this company along the lines of the the, the teachings given uh, by the by Maitre and, and the masters and um, well personally money has never has never been a goal in my life and I wanted to share uh, as much as I as I could freely uh, we, we we even we even give people products uh, freely if they can pay for them you know and uh, and and this this company is a success. I don't know why. Maybe the the what what we sh what we offer is 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 good. Probably, I guess, I suppose. And uh, maybe we are we are an example of what what business will be in the future. I tend to 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 believe to believe that. And. Um, well, what else? <laughs> okay. So so well, okay. So what is what is different and innovative about your your company and what ties it to these principles of of uh, as you were saying, we've talked many times on this program about Maitreya's priorities and and his central message which is share and save the world. So what's different about your company? What's innovative and how does it fit in with those principles? Well, I believe the first idea is not to want to become rich. Money is a tool. Money has become a merchandise, um, but I believe it, it should have always it should have stayed a tool. Uh, today we we rent money, we buy money, we sell money like we would a uh, pair, pair pair of shoes or houses or anything else. Money is a product. 
and I believe money sh should come back to this, this normal um, status as a, as, a, as a tool to exchange goods. And um, I believe humanity will have to learn this. Now we've, we've become obsessed with becoming rich. I think there's nothing more boring than becoming rich. I mean, most people um, think in America think that becoming rich is the goal of life. I mean, this is so sad. To I, I believe this is very sad to 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 think that becoming rich could could be the the goal of one's life. The common good is 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 should be our goal, and I, I think this is much more motivating. Than, than just money, um, helping others, uh, helping alleviate suffering, helping <clears throat> people get getting out of uh, of sickness. I mean, because my company has to do with uh, helping helping people uh, heal themselves. My book is about fasting. Fasting is is the the first uh, the oldest. Uh, natural method to to heal yourself i mean animals uh, fast spontaneously and they haven't read my book so far i believe they've never, <laughs> never they, they've never listened to me uh, speaking animals just stop eating because uh, hunger doesn't go together with sickness this is a natural law you can't be sick and hungry at the same time, and unless you're really, really <laughs> in bad shape. I mean, you've lost uh, you've lost contact with your with the laws of nature totally. But this this is a law of nature. Hunger and 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 sickness don't go together. So my book is about um, rehabilitating. Uh, is, is that a, is that a right word in English? Re, uh, fasting. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, uh, as a as a normal uh, thing, as we we we, we sh is, it is much more dangerous to not fast than to fast. Fast is a is a normal thing that everybody once in a while um, regularly should just stop eating one day, two days, one week, two weeks. If you're if you of course if you're if you're in a bad shape, if you if you have a, 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 a disease, you should. I mean, uh, fast as long as your uh, as long as health uh, doesn't come back. But as a preventary method, also it's it's excellent to fast one day a week or one one week every change of season. So, and um, this is what we teach in my in my company. We teach people how to heal themselves without money. And this is what I call the les moyens naturels de santé. Or that we could translate that well, natural natural means to health, uh, because I believe health right, cannot exactly. be bought. Health cannot be bought. Health cannot come from outside, only from inside. If you if you go with the laws of nature, if you learn them and try to apply them in your daily life. The natural results, the spontaneous result, will be a healthy life and uh, and a deeply um, deeply um, satisfying uh, state of mind, um, managing your emotion. I mean, a balanced life. Right, and this all is what of I this do and, uh, without with huge, it. all of this without a huge outlay of money. So that is a very interesting concept, which will be hopeful to many, many people who are listening. Now, now we don't have too much time uh, left before our next break. But so, so how did you incorporate some some of these uh, philosophies into the structure of your company? You were telling me, for example, that there's a very narrow range in the salary grid in with your your company. Exactly. I mean the 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 high. The highest uh, pay is only 2.5 times the lowest pay, which is, uh, by all standards, uh, extraordinary today. Uh, Absolutely. And uh, and I don't even get money myself because I don't I don't I don't I don't want it. I don't need it. I mean, uh, I have my I, I have my own story. I I mean. I don't want I don't want more money. So I started this company as a non-profit first of all. 
now we are now we are registered we couldn't be a non-profit anymore but we share the profits with the workers we we try to do good things uh, people in my company they are paid uh, 13 months a, a year they get holiday vouchers they get restaurant vouchers and they get a share of the profits at the end of the year etc cetera, etc cetera. they are very happy to work with in in, in my company and uh, well and has this had any of, uh, do you see these do you see these uh, the effects on their health and their own well-being and psychological welfare you probably don't have people that quit very often uh, low no, turnover really, I guess. They, that's right. That's right. They are happy to, to work uh, here. And they, I don't mean all of them agree with my message, but with time working in the company, they start um, reading what I, what I write, listening to, to, my, to my talks, my videos. And well, of course, they have to, little by little, they understand my, what, what, I, what I convey, my message. And they they start to to put it into practice, and maybe they would stop uh, smoking or change you know change their ways a little bit and experience of course that this is um, the the highway to health, really uh, not harming your body. Maitreya said uh, in a in a wonderful little message. Let's see if I have it here. Uh, one of he said one of the easiest ways to know me is to be honest in your mind, sincere in your spirit, and feed your body with right food and practice detachment. And these are these are Dana, four things Dana, I, I read. Dana, yes. Then now would yes. you just repeat that slowly so that our people can, can our listeners can can hear each of those points. Ah, yes. We'll do I'm that reading, when we come I'm back on that. the other side. All right. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. So we will take a step back when we come back to uh, one of Bernal's uh, favorite teachings of Maitreya, and we'll talk about how his enterprise uh, ties in with Maitreya's teachings. We have some uh, very interesting tools to talk about, so stick with us, and we'll see you the other side. Free your mind. Expand your soul. Om Times Radio. IOM FM. Have you bought into the idea that you have to work hard for your money, that business is hard? I will share some dynamic access consciousness tools to get you out of your own way so you can create a business that actually succeeds. Join me, Simone Millicers, on the Joy of Business at 4 p.m. Mondays Eastern. Want to help humanity and the planet? Transmission Meditation is a simple but powerful way for you and two or more friends to do just that and dramatically accelerate your own spiritual growth. You can read the book on Transmission Meditation, free online. Visit ShareOnTheAirRadio.org for details. That's ShareOnTheAirRadio.org. ShareOnTheAirRadio.org. My name is Dale Pazinski, and this is how I live United. I volunteer with United Way, helping the homeless in my community by teaching computer skills and helping them build a basic resume to save on their very own USB drive. It's huge when somebody says, hey man, that job that you helped me apply for, I got it. My name is Dale Pazinski. I help people achieve financial independence. So I don't just wear the shirt, I live it. Give, advocate, volunteer, live united. Go to liveunited.org. Brought to you by United Way and the Ad Council. Welcome back. This is Share on the Air Radio, and I'm here with my guest, Belna Clavier from uh, France, and we are talking about spiritual entrepreneurism and also a bit about the value of money, um, which is as a tool in Bernard's uh, estimation. If you are interested, if you're, if you're new to the program and intrigued by what you are hearing about um, these principles and teachings of Maitreya, the emergent story of Maitreya and the Masters of Wisdom, we invite you to visit the, sh- the website www.share, as in sharing, s-h-a-r-e-international.org. 
Um, I once again mention that there you will find a treasure chest of information. There are books there, videos, other resources, and uh, some of those we'll be talking about very shortly with, with uh, Bernard. Bernard, let's get back to our point from before the break. You were talking about one of the important teachings that's a favorite of yours from uh, Maitreya's teaching. So let's, let's just enumerate them again and, and uh, talk a bit more about that. Yes, Maitreya has, uh, has outlined um, a number of very simple uh, principles to to realize the self. The self-realization, he says, is the result of being honest in your mind, sincere in your spirit, and practicing detachment. But I have a text where he adds, it's actually on the, on the shareinternational.org website, where he, he adds, feeding your body with right food. And we could say, feeding your mental body with the right food, your emotional body with the right food. Uh, the, the physical body, the mind, and uh, the astral body, the body of the em emotions, are vehicles through which we express, we live, uh, we go through experiences, and we grow um, because we, we, draw, we draw lessons from those experiences, and lesson after lesson, we grow in wisdom and, and love. So we have to take care of those tools, of those vehicles, the physical body, the mental body, and the emotional body. This is, this is what it's all about. So being honest... And, and, and what, um, what do you think that... Sorry, what do you think that Maitreya means yeah. by uh, the right food? Well, the right food, first of all, of course, is... Uh, Oh, so now we get into details. Of course, the right food for me. Uh, how, should, how should I could, how should I put it? Um, in my talks, I tell people if you want to get healthy, stop buying food products. Buy foods. Food grows on trees, on the land, and food products grow in factories. You see the difference? Very simple, very simple. So if you go buy, if, buy, buy things the, like, like God has, has created them, has made them. Today you buy foods, they are, they are um, packaged, they are in, in bottles, in cans, in, uh, they are pasteurized, they are sterilized, they, are under, they come under plastic, under all sorts of uh, packaging. Well, these, these, these are just foodstuffs. The food that is given by our Creator for us to use looks like food. I mean, it's the carrots, the tomatoes, and fruit, and, uh, and I am lucky personally, but most of, most of us have access to, to, to food. I am lucky because I have fruit trees in my garden. I live in a in a rural area where I can go buy my my vegetables directly from the from the producer. I believe the food that it, that was designed for us are, can be called living foods. That is mm -hmm. as 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 much raw as possible in in their pristine state. You you know in, as just the way it, it's grown either on, on the land or under the soil, like, like, like carrots, for instance, or on the, on, the, on the trees, and as less transformed as possible. So the, in French, uh, we have the three V's, uh, V, let's, say, let's see if, if, it's, if, it, if we can do that in, in English. Vegetable, yeah, the same, V, vege, vegetarian. The second V is varied, varié, of course. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the third V wouldn't apply here, because in French we say vivant, which would be alive, living food. Uh, mm -hmm. vegetable, veg vegetarian diet, varied diet, and uh, living, living food. 
do not cook your food. I mean, we, we overcook everything now. And when you cook food, there's no more vitamins. There's no more uh, energy, prana. There's hardly anything left in your food when you cook it. So that's, that's one point. But it is not all. Uh, the body is only one of the vehicles for our soul to express itself and to, and to grow uh, incarnation after incarnation. So the, the physical body is just as important as the mental body and the emotional body. No, no more but maybe no less, because we do we do so much harm to our physical body today, that there is a lot of um, a lot of room for improvement. And Maitreya has mm-hmm. shown us the way. Even the master Jual Kul, in one of the Alice Bailey's books, uh, said uh, about 50 or 60 years ago, uh, humanity nowadays is eating about four times much more than what it what would be necessary you know four times too much that and that's mm-hmm. a lot really when you start fasting you realize that your body needs so little i mean i've been eating once a day for the last 45 years of my life um uh, well wow. today for instance i had a tennis game uh, in a tournament i won it was very hot I hadn't taken any food since yesterday. To, today now, I mean now in France, it's 10 o'clock at night, 10 p.m., 11, 10.30 now, and uh, I haven't eaten since yesterday nor drank anything. And I feel full of, and, and, I, and I had the, this um, tournament, tennis game in the afternoon, and I am full of energy, I tell you. And this is when people start um, skipping breakfast, for instance, they, I tell them, please, first thing to do, forget about breakfast. And people come back to me and they say, oh my, this is a, a, such a discovery because I, I, since I stopped having breakfast, I don't feel sleepy at 11 o'clock in the morning. And <laughs> you, see, you, you don't have energy when you eat. You have energy when you've eaten and when you've um, taken advantage of the, of the nutrients of, your, of the food you've taken. And that, that, that's a long time after, after having had your, your meal, actually. You see, people, animals, when they've eaten, they go in a corner and, and, and sleep. Babies, when, they, when you say, come on, do, come on, tete, when they... Uh, when they when just they take, breastfed, when they, well, when they are breastfed, when they, right? Oh, they they fell asleep. They they have the 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 breast in their in their in their mouth, you know, and and they fall asleep because when we eat after nature is sending us a clear message that we should rest. Animals, babies do that. They sleep after meals, and we would like to go working and we would like to send our children to school after partaking a, a huge breakfast in the morning that's that's nonsense that's that's re- that's really the one of the roots of of disease today we eat too much we eat too often and we eat wrong the wrong stuff so once a day mm-hmm. is a fantastic rhythm i've been doing that for the last 45 years and I, I encourage our listeners to, to just try it out, and they will see that it is already it's it's plenty food plenty of food once a day in the evening when I've done everything else and when my, my mind is rest rested when I am uh, quiet I, I have my food in the evening. <laughs> That's a very interesting concept to most of our listeners, I'm sure. And yet, Bernard, you say that the goal of life is not to be healthy or to live a long life or anything like that, but really to know who and what we are. Let's talk yes, about that. Yes, yes. And the masters are giving us 
they they have been giving us for the last uh, century where it all started with uh, with Elena Blavatsky at the end of the 19th century and then came all, all the books from uh, by Alice Bailey Elena Rorich and nowadays we have this fantastic gift of of books written by by Benjamin Krem I'd say um, they are more actual in in a more modern language and much more accessible than the, all the, the previous books I mentioned. And this uh, among those books, there is a little one. I don't know how, how much it costs in, in, in the United States or North America, but here it costs two euros. That's about two dollars. And that's an amazing, that is an amazing summary of all the the basic, uh, concepts of about life who are we where are we coming from where are we heading to why when what is life what is evolution what is death what is karma I mean how can how can we live a life a, a, a deeply fulfilled life if we haven't started to know about ourselves you know know yourself and, and, and you before... will know the universe and the gods yeah Yes. Yeah. And, but that, that, before we that, go to that, that, the break, uh, Bernard, Bernard, before we go to break, I just want to fill in a bit of information for our listeners. Yeah. This uh, very small and interesting book, which is, I don't know, it's something like three fifty, four dollars and uh, uh, to be yeah. purchased uh, through <clears throat> Terra Press or, or anyways, let me let me just say that this book, The Ageless Wisdom Teaching, is available for free on the website www.share-international.org. Um, you go to the book section there, you will find all of Mr. Krem's 16 books. All of them are magnificent. They are just a treasure trove of information. But this little booklet, if you are new to your interest in psychology, in philosophy, in the ageless wisdom teachings themselves, this little book is priceless, and you can have it free on www.share-international.org. Come back for our last segment, and we will be talking more about this and other tools at your disposal to uh, help in your spiritual journey. You are listening to Share on Air Radio. He is back on the other side. Free your mind. Expand your soul. Om Times Radio. IOM FM. The number one reason girls drop out of school in sub-Saharan Africa is lack of access to feminine hygiene products. The Pads for School Girls Project, an outreach of Humanity Healing International, is changing this paradigm by setting up sewing programs at schools, teaching girls a vocational skill, while producing the reusable pads that help keep them attending classes. The girls pay it forward by making and giving pad kits to other girls in need. To learn more, visit HumanityHealing.org. Humanity Healing is where your heart is. Hi, I'm Kelly Fox, host and astrologer of The Astrology Show. Each week, I'll give you access to the current transits, which are a valuable tool that provide astrological information to help unlock the potential each of us has. Understanding the stars can help steer us in the right direction to make better informed choices. So if you're wondering what's going to happen in your week ahead, be sure to tune in to The Astrology Show for guidance, Mondays at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Share International Magazine is unique in the world today. It draws connections that make sense between headline news and spiritual changes unfolding now on a global scale and explains the forces driving those changes. It may be the message of hope you have been waiting for. Investigate for yourself at shareontheairradio.org. That's shareontheairradio.org. Shareontheairradio.org. It only takes a minute to find out if you may have prediabetes. And you can do it at doihaveprediabetes.org. But you're probably not going to, are you? Kids, work, listening to the radio. You're busy, which is great because busy people can't get prediabetes. Oh my, I read that wrong. <laughs> They can. Should have worn my glasses. So visit doihaveprediabetes.org and take a short test because prediabetes can be reversed. Brought to you by the Ad Council and its prediabetes awareness partners.
Here we are again, share on the air radio, my guest, Bernard Clavier. And just before the break, we had begun talking about the ageless wisdom teachings. A little before, um, Bernard had mentioned that the Master Dwal Kul, who is the Tibetan master, one of the uh, great perfected um, masters of wisdom who is uh, working very closely with the Lord Maitreya, um, dictated a series of books to Alice Bailey uh, in about the 1920s through to the late 1940s. And there is very interesting information uh, in those books. So um, that's something you may want to look at. Many of you will have heard of, of Elena uh, Blavatsky, who uh, was one of the first people to bring into modern parlance these ageless wisdom teachings, which have been being handed down uh, from generation to generation for aeons, um, usually by oral tradition. But because of the uh, quickening advancement of humanity in the last hundred years or so, the um, the delivery of these teachings has been, uh, first of all, accelerated and uh, made much more uh, broad uh, through these uh, three great exponents of the Ageless Wisdom teachings. So from a relatively guarded few esotericists who understood parts of the plan or for, for humanity or um, the actual um, concept of evolution, the, the laws of rebirth and reincarnation, the laws of cause and effect, more and more people are coming into contact with information on these topics which are so beautifully and so briefly covered in this little booklet called the Ageless Wisdom Teachings. You have a summary there on Alice Bailey, uh, sorry, on, on Helena Blavatsky, Alice Bailey, and um, as the third great exponent, Benjamin Krem, plus all of these wonderful titles that um, um, Bernard, Bernard mentioned. So um, that is one very great tool at your disposal, uh, a fascinating life study, actually. Um, Bernard, you um, were talking about uh, the goal of life not to be healthy or live long, but really to know who and what we are. Would we, could you please introduce to our listeners the prayer for the new age? Oh, yeah, that's a big uh, responsibility, Diana. It is, um, it is an amazing um, prayer that Maitreya has given, given us or given, given the world uh, not so long ago. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say, do you know when he's, he's come up with that prayer? Maybe 10 years ago, 20? I don't know. And, uh, yeah, something like that. It's oh, fairly new. Fairly new. And uh, it's a type of new prayer where we don't, we don't, we don't only beg. I mean, not, uh, most people, um, when they pray, they, they beg for something, you know, pray for, they pray for love, they pray for money, they pray for a job, they pray for something. Whereas in the, in the prayer from the New Age, we uh, it helps us to identify with the godhead because this is actually what we are we are we all sparks of the divine like a drop of water is a, is an individualization of the great sea or the great ocean you see so we are spark of the divine and we have just forgotten our source and the goal of life is to come back to this realization to come back to the source but enriched with all the experiences we've, we've, we, we will have done in this very very long uh, journey of our um, how do you say um, many many evolution. so many incarnations evolution mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. um, right and that it, prayer it I mean that I wouldn't it's Go ahead, yes. Bella. Go ahead. No, no, go ahead because I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, okay. I, I well, wouldn't well, be I was able just... to to tell you the prayer in English now because I, I recite uh -huh. it in French uh -huh. myself. <laughs> well, if we have time, it's fairly short. If we have time, I will recite it just as the program ends so that people can leave on on that energy. But yeah. the point is that it is said that if this if this 
uh, this prayer, this invocation, not a begging, but an invocation, a drawing to us, um, an understanding of the concepts involved. If if this so prayer is said seriously every day, it is said that there will grow inside of uh, us a realization of our true. Uh, self. And this prayer, this invocation, has been specifically formulated for this, this new age, which is why it is called a prayer for the new age. We will be posting a link yeah. to this prayer on our Facebook page, so our listeners can um, go and, and just follow that link to the um, this prayer. It is also at the very end of this little booklet, The Ageless Wisdom Teachings, which is available free of charge. So you're more than welcome to uh, check that out as a, a, a tool of self-conscious awareness uh, to, to grow with. And uh, of course, we can't leave the program without mentioning transmission meditation as another tool of, of growth and service, Bill Now. Um, so I wanted to just make a quick mention of that. Transmission meditation is another activity that is being introduced now at the beginning of the New Age um, by the um, Masters of Wisdom. It was given to Benjamin Krem in the uh, early 1970s. It's a group meditation because the age of Aquarius now dawning is an age of group consciousness also now dawning. So this transmission meditation uh, is done in groups. It is extremely powerful. It uh, requires no, and yet requires no particular expertise or belief system or anything like that. Through transmission meditation, we get to work directly with the Masters of Wisdom to help create in this world a pool of energy which they can then direct, the Masters can then direct to any um, scientifically, highly scientifically uh, decided area that they would like to boost at that time. So it may, of course, go into um, you know, trying to alleviate world tension, but it can also go into uh, great discoveries in science, medicine, education, etc. They know exactly where uh, to direct these energies, but they offer us the opportunities to help step them down into the world. So once again, uh, two things about that. Uh, I, I invite you to check out the archives for our program, Share on the Air Radio, and um, it, some of our, we have done shows on transmission before. In fact, one of my guests, um, um, Krista Paris, uh, calls it calls transmission meditation a gift from the gods. So, as well as the prayer for the new age, transmission is uh, a very, very well worthwhile thing to um, to consult. Bernard, do you have um, some last words from our listeners for our listeners? Uh, some last advice? Yes. Uh, meditation is extremely important. Of course, it's a way to get in touch with with our soul again. But uh, I, w I, w I would like to emphasize service as a maybe equally important way to to grow and uh, Sai Baba put has put it in an amazing uh, way when he said hands that help are holier than lips that pray of course we, we've seen that prayer is important when when Sai Baba says that he really and Maitreya has emphasized a lot uh, service so I would like to encourage our listeners to find their line of service, their own line of service. We all have a field of activity where we feel that uh, we are doing good to the world, and that helps us grow some. It's very rewarding to help other and um, um, Service for me is uh, is is a base, the, one of the basic, uh, the, one of the fundamentals of evolution. Yes, of course, Maitreya has well, said, take your brother's need as the measure for your action, and save the right. world. It is central Ex to his exactly. teaching. In fact, it's also central to the New Age. Uh, Mr. Krem has said so many times, in 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 his literature that. 
Um, in the new age, it is no longer an age where you retire to a cloister and, and you know, pray in silence behind cloister walls for all of your life. The, evolu the need for uh, that uh, energy that is collected, that is, that is drawn in through the process of meditation, needs to then flow out into the world in, a form of, in the form of service. So that there is, as you talk about, a healthy um, balance, Bill Nall, would you say? Oh, yes, yes. In, in, in uh, human health. Right, we all have to. We all have to find a balance and uh, learn about the laws of nature. Reading the books by, you know, by the Alice Bailey and Benjamin Krem, trying to apply them in our daily lives. Be true to yourself. Honesty of mind, sincerity of spirit. Respect your body. Uh, giving, feeding it good, good food, uh, natural food, living food. And, and and same with your mind. Feed your mind uh, the best food, and um, and happiness and and good life and health will be the the spontaneous result of of that. So then, as Gandhi said, being the change that we want to see in the world is actually one way to right. accomplish that. And we have those Wonderful. keys in in meditation and service. Bernard, it's been wonderful having you today, and we thank you very, very much for, for being our guest. Thank uh, you for the invitation, to our listeners, Bernard. You're, wel you're welcome, Bernard. And to our listeners, go to the links on, uh, on the Facebook page, and there you will find um, an entree to the Prayer for the New Age, for to Transmission Meditation, and to quite a lot.